Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Hello Baby, episode 38 to 39. Just a disclosure, I do read this for fun to practice my English pronunciation. I do have a slight accent. I'm working on it. I've been working on it since I was in middle school all the way till now. It gotten a lot better. Uh, I used to have a really, really bad accent, but I feel I kind of adopted the American accent a bit, but I do stutter quite a bit. And also, I'm using Naver Webtoons. If you guys want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. Uh, I do have to blur this type of read on my public YouTube page, so y'all have to deal with the cat logo blurs. Sorry, that's the only way I can put these out without being flagged and have my channel taken down. And I do react and have a conversation about it. That way, you know, not a total copyright, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Woo, I need a breather. Okay, so it's been a while, but I kind of saw the last episode. We left it off where the auntie of Arthur kind of found out where he, Arthur's hitting or hiding his secret family, his now girlfriend and his son. Ding dong. Uh, that must be Nana. Uh, what's wrong? Why the long face? And why are you here too, Faye? Uh, I didn't mean to. I was just so scared. But... Yeah? Um, what are they doing? Sir? Over here, quick. Huh? Please look here. Auntie Morgan knows. She didn't get the intel from me. I, I swear. Huh? Great. Just when things were starting to look up between us two. Now we have to deal with this. They're acting suspicious. <sighs> Juicy. Really? Did something finally happen? If that's the case, though, don't you think it'd be better to shed some light on what's happening with Gwen? <clears throat> I don't think she deserves to be kept in hiding anymore. Uh, Auntie? Our father's little sister. She taught me a lot about our family business after my father's passing. I respect her dedication and professionalism. She is very traditional. All she cares about is conventional family values. But I get her point. It's all my fault. Don't worry about it. I'll go and talk to her. Hello, baby. Episode 38. We'll go on ahead. Let's meet later to finalize our legal paperwork. Is there anything I can do to help? I told you, don't worry. I'll handle this. I'll have Gareth come and pick you up as promised. See you. Take care. Oh, wait, Nana and Faye are still here. It's fine. <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> this is so my brother, making sure they have leaps and bounds of development. <laughs> I know they told me not to worry, but Leon is in the middle of all of this. Yeah. My baby, mom needs your cooperation. I can't just sit by and watch. <laughs> now, please help me too. Mega Development Corp. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Vice President's here. Uh, they look so concerned. Have you heard about him knocking up a random woman? How awful! He did that? Non-stop whispers. Everywhere. I always heard he was a womanizer. 
but this seems too far. <clears throat> I want to speak up, but I can't deny things that are even kind of true. I just don't understand why this has to be a whole big issue around here. It's not like I'm a celebrity. They need to be wasting their brains, uh, brain power on. I don't get why this is so interesting for everyone. Rumors. After all, this company says about upholding traditional values. Did Gwen also have to endure such things? What a f boy. You know, I can hear you, fuckers. I can see why Auntie Morgan's on edge. Why did this grow into something so big? Phew. Now that is a good question. Ding. Ding. Oh. Well, where have you been? The situation's awful. Seems like it. Calm your titties. Ugh. That's it? Your reaction? The board executives, are, they heard of it as well. Of course, that's not it. I'm just trying to figure out what to do about all of this. I'll go and meet Auntie. Uh. So you're not denying it? I've thought better of you all this time. I'm sorry. I don't care what goes on in your personal life behind closed doors. But your public image affects the company, too. The company that I, no, your father and I, worked so hard to cultivate. I'll need to do something about this situation. I'm taking responsibility. I'm going to make things official with my partner. I'm going to marry her. You call that a plan? You'll need to step down as VP. In this coming meeting, you'll be apologizing and resigning in front of the board. That is harsh. Just because of that traditional family value, like, so what? Just be like, hey, we're changing things up. The company is no longer in the, like, the past, you know? You can't really uphold the traditional stuff. Stuff happens. And we live in a modern society where, yeah, people get to know their person before they marry them and knock them up. Like, it's just all about respect. If your partner is a trustworthy, loyal person, like, so what? It's all about finding the right partner for you. You can't just marry someone and realize, oh, this person is a, is a POS. Be ready to do so. Understood. He just bows down. Tap, tap, tap. Whoa. Oops, sorry. What is she doing there? What does she want? Hell nah. <laughs> right, Mr. Potato? Whoa. Oops, sorry. Hello, baby. Episode 39. Oops. <laughs> I didn't see you there. Are you right? You're... I was on my way to meet the chairwoman and talk about the land we're selling. <laughs> and also, I haven't been able to get with Gwen to apologize and talk about our situation. I'm sure you of all people understand. How it's hard to apologize. For you, maybe. Huh? Don't forget our agreement. I'll ensure you don't get that deal without apologizing to Gwen. Now if you excuse me. Tch. Still bluffing, huh? It's only a matter of time. Wait, who's this training? Your daughter's all grown up now. So cute. <laughs> I know. When I introduce her to my son? What? No way. Not with your family. Ugh, Percy, how dare you? I mean, 
I get it, but still. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm back. How did it go? Why are we meeting here in my office again? She told me to resign. What? She can't do that. Father handed this company to you. Yeah. What ha will happen to me if you resign? Hey. I sometimes wonder if this is uh, even the right thing for me. Kuya means big brother. Kuya. You, you can't quit now. What are you going to do? Huh? His true intentions are showing. Just become a couch potato of a father? That, that your son think? You disappoint me, father. Ugh. Your imagination's wild. Leon can't even talk yet. Don't you have a meeting with Gwen later? To get your legal paperwork squared away? Uh, right. I wonder what they're gonna say. Sorry for the short notice, Nana. I told you, I'll help in any way I can. Nana, Miss Gwen, Sir Leon, I've arrived. He's with me too. Gareth, stop with the Sir Leon. Lance. This is Lance. He's my attorney and childhood friend. What a handsome young lad. I'm Lydia. I'm Lance, ma'am. Sir, I'm Gareth, sir. You look sleek today. Arthur's sure to get intimidated just by looking at you. Thanks. I'll do my best. Ah, that's right. Um, you... Oh. This is Leon, my son. Uh, your son. Uh, I've never seen him look like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's usually a very happy baby. He's just staring at Lance like... <laughs> Don't worry about it. You sure have a unique crowd around you nowadays. They're not going to join us. Oh, they're unique, but they're all incredibly kind. <laughs> they're childhood friends. Should we warn Artie about this, Gar Gareth? <laughs> Nana, I fear Sir Arthur is in danger. So will we be agreeing to his term once they lay them out? Assuming we won't be blindsided by anything? Yes. I'm sure you think this has been a waste of time and resources just for this to be the resolution. Why start a legal battle if you aren't going to finish it? That's what I would think if I were in your position. Not at all. Listen, I want you to be happy, Gwen. <laughs> I'm glad I chose you for my legal counsel, Lance. Order for Miss Gwen. Ah, uh, I'll go get it. I'm the one who requested this meeting. I'll be quick. Please look after him for a bit. Oh, the baby, like, oh, mom! Oh. Uh, Leon, P Abu! <laughs> Ada! <laughs> at the company Mega Development Corp. Nana, what's wrong? Huh? A rival? To be continued. Nana is always right. Well, okay, so we just finished the two re- <sighs> Well, obviously we kind of know that Lance had feelings for Gwen and I don't know if he's actively going to pursue her. It looks like he's from the way he kind of said that, like, I want you to be happy, seems like he's backing down and allowing her to be with the man that she chooses, right? And not be like, well, I'm the right guy for you. You shouldn't be with this guy. But Nana, at the same time, immediately picked up something from the energy that Lance kind of, like, puts out. And she's just like, huh, this guy is a red flag. We should be careful of him. 
So calling up Arthur to tell her, tell him like, hey, you need to be careful is a very wise thing. You know, it's kind of crazy that, oh yeah, just like, oh yeah, this is my childhood friend, Lance. And you just like immediately like, just like feel like something's off about this guy, you know, but that's a good read. So far, so good, right guys? No drama just yet. If you guys enjoyed the way I read this and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my other reads. I have a different play playlist for all of my drama reads, romance reads, horror, and mystery, if you guys are into that. My favorite mystery so far is Purple Hyacinth, and favorite horror is Everything is Fine, and Homesick is by far my favorite one ever. It pulls on my heartstring. The graphic is, it is marked as mature now. So definitely be careful out there for the young kids because it does get pretty spooky. But for drama, check out The Remarried Empress. My popular reads now suddenly spiked up is Marry My Husband because they came out a K-drama. But Remarried Empress by far is topping it off with all the drama. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!